All right, I got a great one for you today, guys. 23 of the best business ideas that you can start with less than $500. That's what we're gonna be going over today. So go ahead, cheers the like button, and let's jump into it. All right, so number one is going to be a doula service. Now, you probably have no idea what a doula service is, and I don't blame you, but this is actually a completely legit business idea that is untapped. And this is basically where you provide physical, emotional, and informational support to a expecting mother. And you do this both before during and after childbirth. And this, of course, is a healthcare industry related service, and it can be offered through private practice, hospitals, birthing centers, and online platforms. And so being a doula is kind of like being a superhero sidekick during childbirth offering unwavering support and guidance through every contraction and push. And yeah, very easy to get started with this. With less than $500, you can do an online doula training course. And just as an example, uh, Samantha started a company called DC Metro Maternity, and she basically specializes in postpartum support for women of color in DC, Maryland, as well as Virginia. And she makes about $85,000 a year. And most doulas basically make between $500 and $2,500 per childbirth. So that's a lot of money for a short period of time. And the hourly rate generally ranges from 25 to $65 an hour. So you can do it yourself or you could make your own agency and hire a bunch of other doulas and then you can make even more money doing that. So yeah, this is one that I've seen over the last six months. You know, I keep my finger on the pulse of all these different side hustles and online businesses. And this is one that I've seen on the rise. So yeah, this is a really good one. I think most of my audience is male, so they probably wouldn't want to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a meal prep business. And this one is likely going to be a local type business. I mean, I guess you could prep meals and then send them to people, but you're probably going to start off locally. And the key here, guys, is to make sure that you niche down and specialize in a particular type of diet. So many Americans out there have particular types of diets that work best for them or just diets that they're trying out to see if it works well for them. Many Americans, actually just many people around the world suffer from different types of inflammation. And usually that inflammation comes from their diet. And you've got all kinds of different types of diets. You've got vegetarian, pescatarian, vegan. Then on the other end of the spectrum, you've got carnivore, keto, etc. And all these different types of diets are going to be best for different types of people. Well, except for the vegan diet. That's really not good for anybody out there for the most part. But still, some people want to do it for ethical reasons. So you'd want to specialize in a particular type of diet. And one that is absolutely blowing up recently is the carnivore diet. I've tried out carnivore myself. I think it's a great diet. Again, it has to be for the right type of person in the right type of situation. Make sure you check with your doctor and blah, blah, blah. But it's really good, especially for people who have serious inflammation issues but it can be somewhat difficult to prepare and cook for. And it's somewhat difficult to make taste good as well. I mean, people do kind of tend to get tired of eating steaks all the time. And so this is one where if you can actually bring some variety to their life, if you can save them a bunch of time, and if you can make it taste really good, that is incredibly valuable. And so meal prepping businesses are an awesome business model. Absolutely love these. So many entrepreneurs and high performers that I know look for this type of thing all the time. And the types of clientele that you're likely going to have are are usually going to be the types of clientele that don't mind paying a premium price because they're cash rich, but time poor. So yeah, absolutely love this one. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. So I just want to let you know that I'm going to be doing a live training at Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Now that's the time right now, but make sure you click the link down in the description in the pinned comment below to make sure. And this live training is going to be on the three biggest secrets to growing and making money on YouTube. And I'm going to be teaching you how to add at least a couple thousand extra dollars to your income. And when I started on YouTube, I was still working as a stressed out full-time pharmacist. But after a few months, I was getting messages like this in my inbox. And all of a sudden I was adding thousands of dollars to my full-time income. And if you want to do the same, make sure you join the live training. And I'll also be giving away a free mini course to those who stay until the end. So this is not going to happen anywhere else. There'll be no replays and it's limited seating only. So sign up to claim your seat by clicking the link down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a personal concierge service. So basically the way this works, is let's say a businessman flies from New York where he's used to being to LA and he's going to spend about a week in LA and he wants to be able to get work done and be efficient. Well, he probably already has a bunch of different assistants in New York and so it's easy for him to get stuff done. But in LA, he's not really familiar with the territory and he doesn't have a bunch of assistants working for him there. And so it can be a much more difficult. So what many times will happen is they will actually hire a personal concierge while they're in LA. And this is somebody who could help them with managing tasks all the way from 
to errands, to appointments, to travel planning, and event coordination. And they can also give them suggestions on good local places to go eat food or good places to network with people. Now, it's not always just a corporate business type of thing. There's lots of other types of concierge services out there. And just to give you an example, there's this ex-Wall Street banker who made millions in the dot-com boom, but he dropped it all to become a psychedelics concierge to the stars. And now he wants everyone to have access to ketamine. So from my understanding, he basically helps them to legally and safely try out these different types of services. And as a personal concierge, you're likely going to make at least $75 an hour. So you can make money just being a personal concierge yourself, but you can make even more money if you start an agency. So yeah, this is a really good one. Um, very interesting opportunity. Lots of people out there are money rich, but time poor, and they'd love to just hire somebody else in the area that they're in who can help them achieve whatever goals that they have. And they don't mind paying them a premium price. So yeah, another really good one. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score as well. Next is going to be a mobile public notary. So notaries are basically people who witness and authenticate signatures, and they often work in different industries such as legal, finance, or real estate. And as a mobile public notary, you're basically going to go to wherever they are in order to oversee the deal. So typically people would have to come to you in order to do this, but as a mobile public notary, you're offering them that extra convenience and saving them that time. And in exchange, you get paid a premium price. Now you're probably starting to notice a bit of a pattern here. A lot of these businesses target people that are money rich, but time poor and people who really like convenience. And those are honestly some of the absolute best clients you can have because they don't care about paying the premium price. All they care about is convenience. And so you can give them an amazing service and you can, you know, get paid enough money to really focus on them. And so that's just a better outcome for everyone involved. So this 25 year old, for instance, started her small notary business and she makes $200 an hour doing it. And she works less than six hours a day. And most mobile notaries charge at least $70 an hour for their services. Somebody called for a notary. So yeah, another really good one, again, make people who already have money, make their lives convenient, save them time, and good things will happen. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next one I'm gonna talk about is one where I'd feel like an absolute hypocrite if I didn't mention it, and that is starting a YouTube personal brand. So starting a YouTube personal brand was absolutely the best decision that I have ever made. When I first started taking YouTube seriously, I was working as a pharmacist. I was stuck in a nine to five job that I didn't want to do, where I did not have any time location or financial freedom. And because of YouTube, I've been able to have all three of those things. I'm time free, location free and financially free. So I've been able to travel the world, go to a bunch of different countries and it's all thanks to YouTube. And they estimate that there's nearly 500,000 people in the United States alone that are working full time on YouTube. So I'm not the only one out there. There is a significant amount of people that are making a full time income from this. So I personally think that YouTube is the best social media platform. There's no other platform where people are making over a hundred million dollars a year whereas there are many, many people making over 100 million on YouTube. And there are clients that I have worked with who have made it to over 10K per month before they've even gotten to 1,000 subscribers. So yeah, YouTube, without a doubt, in my opinion, is the best business idea. I get it, it's not everyone's cup of tea. It's not gonna be perfect for everyone, but I absolutely love it. Whether you're already an expert or something or whether you're somebody who's just learning but you wanna document your journey, there's tons of opportunities for everyone out there. So yeah, YouTube, you know, when it comes to the income, I can speak to it myself. I make over six figures a month Month and I only have to work four hours a week to maintain it. Now, do I work more than four hours a week? Yes, I do because I love it, but I only have to work four hours a week. And that's the key. I have a choice. And I've helped a bunch of other people get to this point as well, where they're making six, seven, or even eight figures a year on YouTube. So yeah, this one is incredible. Have to give it a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. It's not like a get rich quick, make money overnight type of thing. It does take several months before you're gonna start making money, but absolutely love it. And it's a great way to escape the nine to five. And by the way, I do have some free training, which you can check out down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below on how to grow and make money from your YouTube channel. And it talks about my story of how I was able to do it. And additionally, in that same link, if you want to apply for some coaching, I do accept several people per month that I personally coach and mentor on how to grow and make money from YouTube, but I'm very picky about who I work with because I only have a limited amount of time. But you can apply for that with the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below as well. Now, the next two are going to be local businesses that you can start that are extremely profitable. And the first one is going to be a mobile laundry service. So this is another one where, again, you're going to be targeting people that are money rich, but time poor. And basically what you do is you come, you collect their dirty laundry, you go, you separate it out, you wash it, and then you deliver it back to them. And if you don't think you can make money doing this, well, this 44-year-old 
three-year-old did that exact thing. She was able to make a bunch of money and then she was able to buy a laundry mat that now brings her in $24,000 a month. And there's this guy who is basically a laundromat kingpin who makes over $100,000 a month from his laundromats. And typically you're gonna charge something like 20 to $50 per load of 15 to 30 pounds of laundry. And typically you're gonna have your clients on a subscription that's usually gonna be something like 60 to $100 a month. And of course, if first you can do it yourself and then at some point down the line, you can start hiring other people to do it for you as well. So you can make a full-time income from this just doing it yourself as a side hustle slash business opportunity, but down the line, you can turn it into a full blown enterprise. So yeah, this one's really good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be starting a cleaning service business. Now you could just start a general cleaning service business and that would probably work for you. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities out there for this, but even better than that is actually niching down and specializing in particular types of cleaning. So for instance, you could be the person who cleans couches, carpets, and beds, which are traditionally some of the hardest types of household cleaning jobs. In fact, many different cleaning services don't even offer those, which is highly annoying to people who purchase their services. And I know this from firsthand experience. And in some cases, depending on the town you live in, you may not even be able to find that as a service. But if you start a business that specializes in that type of cleaning, you're gonna be able to take advantage of that massive gap in the market. So yeah, cleaning service business, really like this one as well. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a virtual education educator. So this is somebody who could be a teacher or a tutor, but you're doing it online in virtual classes. And there's so many different ways that you can do this. For instance, this photographer is earning $1 million a year teaching online. Tutors typically charge between $25 and $80 an hour. I even charged over $100 an hour when I was in college. So it's pretty much unlimited the different types of things that you could tutor, teach, or coach people on. And the only limit here is going to be your imagination. And I do think that this is the future of online learning and education in general. So I absolutely absolutely love this one. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an online seller. And this is one that I've done before as well. And this is basically where you go and find a different objects out there, different types of physical products. Maybe you buy them locally and then you sell them online. So just as one really cool example, because there's so many different things you can do this with. There are people out there that break one single key on their keyboard and they will order those individual keys for like 10 or $15. So if you get an entire keyboard, you might be able to sell each one of those individual keys for $10 each. That is hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a single keyboard. Another example of this is a 33 year old who turned $200 into $1 million in 92 days selling Kevlar pants, right? So he basically found that there was a gap in the market. There weren't enough people that were selling Kevlar pants and there were a lot of people that wanted it. And so he contacted a supplier and he started selling them. So tons of different ways of doing this and making money online with this. You're basically buying low and selling high. It's pretty much the oldest side hustle known to man. You're basically flipping things. Or if you find something that's really good, you can actually just source it, create it yourself and then wholesale it. So yeah, online selling really good. I'm going to go ahead and give this an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be Amazon KDP or Kindle Direct Publishing. So I've talked about this one before on the channel. I actually asked somebody who owns a business brokerage where they literally help people to buy or sell their businesses. And I asked him last year, if you were starting over from scratch, what is the one business model that you would start right now? And he told me it's Amazon KDP. And I was really shocked by that. I, honestly, I thought it was a little bit sketchy, but I think the reason he did that is because of how much easier it is to write these types of books with AI. And there's lots of people reporting online that they are making money doing this. This guy, for instance, made $415,000 last year. So yeah, another really good one. Honestly, I never would have guessed that this one would be as good as it is, but I have to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Another one that's very similar to online selling, but it's a little bit different is drop shipping. So this is basically where you put up a store and you act as the middleman between a product and the end user. And essentially your only job is to market. That's it. And what I mean by that is the end user will purchase a product and you don't have to store it, you don't have to ship it, and you don't have to manufacture it. It will get shipped directly from the company to the end user. And all you have to do is be the middleman and market it, and then you take the difference. So let's say the product costs you $5, you sell it for $20, that means you get a $15 profit. Now this business model has been around for a long time. Tons of people have made money with it. Right now, the thing that I'm most excited about is specifically using short form content 
content like TikTok, for instance, to do this. And TikTok even opened this thing called TikTok Shop that makes it easier than ever to do this because it's the shop that is directly integrated into TikTok. So people are absolutely crushing it with TikTok Shop right now. So definitely something to look into. I'll be honest, I am not an expert on drop shipping, but I know a ton of people have made money from this. A lot of other people have also gotten started with this. And the really attractive thing about it is the only skill you really have to learn is marketing. That's it. You don't even have to interact with people, right? So you could literally be some nerd sitting in his mom's basement. And if you get good at drop shipping, you can make a ton of money. So yeah, really good one. I'll go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be social media marketing. And this is basically where you help companies to market stuff using social media. So using platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, or X, whatever you want to call it, etc. And there's this quote that I really like, content is fire and social media is gasoline. And social media is by far the single most profitable traffic source available right now. Now, Alex Ramosi, for instance, basically said that he gets 27 times more out of every dollar spent on social media than he does with paid ads. And he's really, really good at paid ads. So that's incredible. So if you can get good at this skill, and if you're somebody who watches a lot of social media, you're probably already halfway there, then you can make a ton of money from this. Not only getting a job, but also doing it as an agency or doing it as a freelancer, etc. So many opportunities to make money from social media marketing. Now, I highly recommend that you specialize in a particular type of social media, it's always a good idea to niche down and become a specialist in one type, you're going to get the best opportunities from that. But yeah, this one is incredible. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, if you want to learn more about digital marketing in general, which social media marketing is a type of digital marketing, my friend Seth and I have helped a bunch of people get jobs in digital marketing. And I've even interviewed a bunch of them on this channel. For instance, Keyshawn was somebody who went straight from high school to becoming a digital marketer. And they were making more than their friends who graduated from college four years later in their first year. So if you want to get some free training on digital marketing, seeing what the different types of digital marketing are, seeing if it's a good opportunity for you, you can check that out by clicking down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be do it yourself crafts and treats. So this basically involves creating handmade crafts or snacks, and you can sell these online or in local markets. And this encompasses a wide range of different products, including handmade jewelry, candles, baked goods, and more. And some websites you could sell on would be Etsy, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, etc. And Etsy is especially good to sell on and you can make a ton of money doing this because a lot of people are actually looking for unique crafts, right? They want to be wearing a unique bracelet that almost nobody else in the world has. It also makes for a really good present if you want to get someone else a present. So yeah, really good one to get into. Definitely easy to start making money, a little bit harder to scale a business like that. But if you're a total beginner, this is a good one to start with. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. All right, I'm going to start going through these faster. Next one on the list is going to be lawn care. This one is pretty obvious. Um, you'd go and mow people's lawns. Maybe you'd use a weed whacker. You can also do some landscaping. Here's a guy who makes $4 million a year with a lawn care business. Here's a guy who started a $10 million lawn care business empire. And yeah, you know, this is something everyone needs. Everyone needs to take care of their lawn. You charge about 30 to $70 per hour. This is a seriously good business to get into. Nobody wants to do these hard, you know, manual physical labor type jobs. And so if you're willing to do it, you can make a ton of money. Very easy to start. Doesn't cost that much. Really good one. I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment down below if there's any of these that you like, and if there's any that you don't like, or if there's any you think that I should have mentioned, I definitely want to know them. And there's a good chance they'll make it into a future video. Next is starting a virtual assistant business. Now, in this business, you could be a virtual assistant yourself and you could get hired out or contracted or much better is to identify a particular niche that needs a specific skill set. Then you can train virtual assistants in that exact skill set and then place them into businesses. So an example of this would be training people how to do YouTube script writing. This is something that, you know, I'm friends with a bunch of different YouTubers out there and it's a pretty big pain point. It's very hard to hire someone who can help you to research and write scripts effectively. And so if you can train people on how to do this and then place them into YouTubers businesses, they are going to pay you a ton of money to do it. And there's this 31 year old who started a virtual assistant business that completely changed her life forever. She was able to make a full time income and escape the nine to five. And yeah, you can make a ton of money doing this. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an SEO writing agency or an SEO consulting business. An SEO basically stands for search engine optimization, and it's how you rank at the top of Google and ranking at the top of Google has a lot of prizes 
sizes because you are going to get a massive amount of traffic. And so what you can do here is you can actually consult people on a specific niche that you're already an expert in. So let's say that you are an expert in software, right? You are a software developer, you use a lot of software and you know a lot about that. You can actually consult with different SEO businesses and blogs on how to make their content better. And there's this SEO consultant, Eli Schwartz, that makes $159,000 a year and he freelances full time. Here's this SEO agency called Grow and they make $21.6 million dollars a year. And yeah, you can make a ton of money doing this usually about 100 to $250 an hour in many cases. And it's really great to get into. So I'm going to go ahead and give SEO an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a pet sitting business. And this is basically where you go to someone's house while they're out of town and you make sure that their pets are well taken care of. Pretty simple business. A lot of opportunities here, especially good if you live in affluent areas. You could even use a simple app like Rover, for instance, to get started with this. Here's a guy who made $26,000 in his first year using Rover, but you can make a lot more than this if you start your own business. Another thing you can do is you can actually just have them send their pets to your house and take care of all of them at the same time. This is more efficient and you can charge like $85 a night for this. And if you have like five or 10 dogs over at your house, you can see how that could really rack up some money. And it's not just dogs, it can be cats as well or any other type of animal. So this one's really good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Another one that's very similar is a dog walker. So this is one where you'd go out and actually walk a dog. And of course, you'd make sure that they go to the bathroom and you'd clean it up. This is another business that's uh, really good. I'd say it's actually even a little bit better because of the fact that you have to you know, clean their stuff up and you can make a ton of money doing this as well. This guy, for instance, started a $120,000 a year dog walking business. And typically you charge between 20 and $30 for every 20 to 30 minute walk. So you're making about a dollar a minute. Plus you get to spend a lot of time with man's best friend. So yeah, this one's really good. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. One that's not quite as good, but it can still be really good even just as a side hustle, making a little extra money is house sitting. Now this one can involve taking care of the people's animals. Usually you get paid a little bit more for that, but house sitting is basically where you just make sure that everything in the house is okay, doesn't catch on fire, and you just take care of the house in general. So I think everyone knows about this one. They're probably pretty familiar with it. I'll go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be print on demand. And I'm really excited about this one, especially when it comes to the applications of using 3D printing. So I've talked about this a lot on the channel, very excited about the applications of 3D printing down the line. You're basically going to be able to design something online, have it 3D printed, and it's going to get delivered to your house. You can also customize it in any way that you want. You could pick designs that people have already made online. And then maybe if you're ordering some clothes or something, you can put your dimensions in and then it gets delivered right to your house. I mean, Think of all the incredible applications of that. You could design furniture that is perfectly made for your house. You could design Halloween costumes. You could design cosplay costumes that perfectly fit you. So many incredible applications to this. Super excited about this coming down the line. Right now you can do simple stuff like shirts for instance. And basically all you do is you make the design, you put it up online. There's ways of sort of using AI in order to make it look like it's already on the shirt. People order it and then a company just prints it and sends it to them. So the only thing you have to take care of is the art itself and then a little bit of the marketing. And this person profited over $100,000 on Teespring, which is one of the sites that does this in five months. This person works one hour a day and they make $14,600 a month doing this. And like I said, I think there's going to be way more applications coming down the line once they get done with the 3D printing and they really get it dialed in. So yeah, really excited about this one. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a copywriting business. And for this particular one, you definitely want to focus on niching down and specializing. So there's different types of copywriting, right? There's email copywriting, uh, social media copywriting. There's different types of copywriting for different platforms. So Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, etc. You'd want to pick one of those and specialize in it. And then you'd probably want to go one step deeper and specialize in a particular niche as well. So maybe the make money online niche, maybe you can even go deeper than that and specialize in a particular type of make money online. And this is what's going to make you incredibly valuable as a copywriter. Niching down and specializing is the key. So for instance, this guy is 22 years old and he makes $280,000 per month copywriting. So copywriting is not going away. It's going to be huge into the future. The key here, guys, I'm telling you is to niche down and specialize. That is how you get noticed. That's how you get jobs. And that's how you do a really good job as well. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. I'm very, very bullish on this one. Next is going to be affiliate marketing. And the big appeal to affiliate marketing is again, the only thing you have to focus on is marketing. Everything else 
is taken care of for you. So many people got their start in affiliate marketing. It does have its downsides, but it is super, super easy to start doing. This channel, for instance, makes over $50,000 a month from affiliate marketing. This is a sale that I recently made from affiliate marketing. And this was a video that I made years ago. I mean, I made this video years ago and then I get a 466 dollar and 10 cent commission, right? So affiliate marketing is the gift that keeps on giving. It's even better if you pair it with another skill such as making YouTube videos, then it's just absolutely deadly. So yeah, absolutely love affiliate marketing. It's a great one. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be pressure washing. So this is one that is a just, it's a lot of hard work. You know, you got to be out in the sun. You got to pressure wash things. You have to clean things all day. A lot of people don't want to do it, but if you're willing to do it, you can make a ton of money. And particularly, of course, you want to have a mobile pressure washing business. So if people need their decks clean. They need the front of their house clean, the sides of their house, their roof, the gutters, maybe their garage. All of these different things need to be pressure washed. And all you have to do is just buy a pressure washer, probably costs about a hundred bucks at most, and you can get started with this. And there are literally 18 year olds out there like Chase, an 18 year old entrepreneur making $12,000 a month doing this, right? A freaking 18 year old. So if you're willing to work hard, this is a super easy way of making money. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you're interested in the five best online businesses to start as a beginner. I made a video on that. It did really well. People loved it. And you can check that out by clicking right here.